Hey guys, I didn't welcome back to another things I hate. I'm sorry that I've been slacking on the YouTube game. I know I didn't even stream yesterday. I am gonna stream, well, I guess, yeah, it'll be yesterday when, when you guys are watching this. But I'm sorry for, for the fact I've just been slacking on everything and I've just been not as active as I usually am. Again, I do think I'm gonna keep the one, like, the one video a day schedule just cause School, school will be back in like, I think in a week or two. So, I'm not gonna have as much time as I do now. But I do promise, as soon as like, any holiday comes, I will I will start posting, two videos a week. I mean, two videos a day, for for how for however for however long that, that that like certain, for however long that certain holiday lasts, or vacation what. Well, Whatever you want to call it, for however long that lasts, I I'll post like two videos a day. But I do have a very big project that's going on that will affect the channel. Um, I'll probably have it done by December, maybe, hopefully by December. I'll I'll I think by Christmas I'll have it done. We'll have to see though. But I'm sorry for ranting about that shit for for a minute and a half. But I do, I do need to get it to that 10 minute mark, that 100% 10 minute mark, just so I can get all that YouTube money. But the thing we are going to be talking about this week is No Man's Sky and the, whole situ and the really fucked up situation it's in currently. Which is essentially, well it's not in currently, I'm pretty sure they've fixed most problems of the game. Except, except the multiplayer, which, which, is the, which is what's like... What's got the people mostly agitated about is the fact that Sean Murray said multiple times that there was gonna be multiplayer in the game, but I'm um, I'm not sure what happened. I think I think it it just changed. Like the they they were just a decision. Like they they were just like no, nah, we're we're not gonna have multiplayer anymore because it was definitely supposed to be in the game. Because um if if you look on the limited edition cover on PS4, it actually says it says it was twelve. It was rated twelve because it had multiplayer and violent, but now it's rated seven because it only has violence. So it doesn't have any multiplayer at all except just naming, just naming planets and stuff. So it is kind of disappointment. Like I'm, I'm not sure why people are whining so much about about it. <laughs> like it does. Like I, I, I wasn't hyped about that feature anyways. Like I, uh, uh, that doesn't affect the person. That person doesn't affect my experience. But I do understand that some people like what like wanted to meet up with their friends and stuff and do cool stuff. But you know, it's it's whatever. But like pe pe people are pointing. But like, let let's change the subject. Um, that that's just fucked up and and everything. And and Shamari probably should have disclosed it before the game came out. And 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 I do realize it was like a last second decision, but he still should have disclosed it. So it's just really messed up the fact he didn't. But I still think that people are over exaggerating, and and that's why I'm not going to talk about the subject for the whole ten minutes. And I'm actually going to talk about the full game and just 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 the reason it's getting so much hate at the current moment. And and instead of getting like like seven or eight like it should it's getting like fives <laughs> fives and fours the reason this the whole reason this is happening is because it's first of all it's because um halo he hello games was was very very vague on w when they were describing the game which clearly caused people to like imagine imagine stuff that that's kind of like what what happens like multiple things in media like for example if, if if a new star wars movie comes out and and let's say they release like a trailer where where it's literally just just it just it just looks amazing and, and looks like the best movie in the world um and 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 they don't release anything else after that people are going to go into that with so with such high expectation expect ex, yeah expect whatever you, you you guys know what I'm saying. They're they're gonna go into that with such high expectations 
to the point to the point where the game where the movie will never live up to that and and even if it's the best star wars movie ever it will still get <laughs> it'll still get rated like 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 let's say like seven or seven out of ten just because the fact pe- people were expecting it to be the greatest movie ever made and it wasn't it was only the greatest star wars movie ever made which is a great achievement don't, don't get me wrong but but people were still gonna be pissed off about the fact it's not the greatest movie ever made and that and that's kind of like what happened with this game just because they were so vague and they never described really like the, any of the gameplay at all and they were just like essentially all they said was there's gonna be there's gonna be thir- i think 13 quotidian planets for you to explore um you there's gonna be combat there, there's gonna be trading you're gonna have to survive on these planets and you're gonna have to survive trade can't remember an export yeah survive trade and explore I, there was also another one i can't remember what it was but yeah and combat yeah I, I, I said them all four i said all of, all four of them but essentially like that that's what they said that that was gonna happen in the game but 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 they never explained like how you were gonna do this just how how it was gonna be possible they were just like yeah so so essentially you're 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 gonna you're gonna be put into a universe with fourteen coated plants. You're gonna explore, um, fight, fight, fight creatures, and do everything, and do anything you want. Essentially, yeah. That that was actually kind of, kind of like the catchphrase of this whole mark, marketing scheme that Sony had. <laughs> that the Sony still has. They they don't have. They still have. Which is possibilities are limitless in No Man's Sky, which again is it's not missed leading it's it, it is misleading okay it's very misleading because possibilities are limitless when when you can't really do that much with plants like the the game will eventually become like essentially a better version of minecraft but but they but they can't really say the possibilities are limitless with with this current copy of my of the game like with this current copy of the game, it's very dis- it's not very disappointing. Like I I personally love it. I I think I think it's one of the greatest games to come out this whole year. But some people some people probably dislike the whole the, the just the fact it, it's it's not what they thought it was gonna be, and and that's where I think Sean Murray and and the the whole No Man's Sky team should have been clearer on. It's just it's just is. If if they if they had just come out from day one and been like, okay, so so No Man's Sky is actually Subnautica. Like it it would be so much clearer, and instead instead of getting like all the hate it's getting right now, pe- people would would be praising it for for what it is instead of instead of just instead of just judging it for what it isn't, and like it's just re- and 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 it's it's not really anyone's fault. Like it's 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 not it's not the people's fault for for thinking, for thinking it's gonna be like I don't know the 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 Star Wars, like the for for thinking it was gonna be the battlefront they've they've always wanted. It's not their fault for thinking that. And it's not Sean Murray's fault for, for like essentially. Like being vague, cause cause being vague, also helps sell. And that and 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 that worked for like many many games like no man's got like um i mean Watch Dogs. that that was like one of the vaguest camp like advertising campaigns there's ever been where where, where they essentially showed you a trailer <laughs> but they, they they showed you a trailer where, where, where the graphics were amazing and they just looked like really 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 good and then when the game came out it was just it was just a gta clone which which it was always gonna be a gta clone but it was like there it, and there wasn't really enough there to, to to, like for for me to be like, okay, so I'm gonna get washed out instead of GTA Five. There wasn't enough meat on the hacking on the hacking thing, which was essentially the only thing that made that game unique, was the hacking, because because first of all the the handling was pretty bad, gun the the guns were weren't bad like it it still wasn't as good as GTA Five but it it wasn't bad, graphics. I think it was slightly better than GTA 5 on PS4, but 
but it it's that that's still not enough because because first of all it didn't it didn't have multiplayer like gta like gta online and it didn't have anything like that which kind of let it down again and there was just a bunch of disadvantages <laughs> to that game and it's all and and the whole the only reason that game really got that much hate because if that game wasn't overhyped and 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 it and they just show like a trailer and stuff and they and and they did it like like they did with the division where, where where they did some betas and stuff and started people try it out like like give like giving people the the chance to try it out actually helps to keep the hype down because people realize what 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 it's gonna be um like for example the division like th- there was a lot of advertisement at how advertisement and the hype was really high for that game but at the same time it was like pe- like people knew what what they were getting when when they bought the division. They, they knew they were going to get an RPG simulator thing because cause that's what the dev said they said it was it was going to be a shooter MMO I'm pretty sure that that's exactly what they said and like for for, for some reason lots of games claim to be shooter MMOs I'm, I'm not not shooter MMOs but, but like MMOs like the crew claims to be an MMO but I'm going way off topic right now let's get back on the topic which is No Man's Sky um do I blame anyone for for the whole like catastrophe that is the 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 No Man's Sky um controversy? Not really. If you had to point a finger at someone, you have to point it at Sony, I guess. Cause 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 Sony is the only is the big reason why this game isn't just another indie game that that released that that was green that was greenlit on Steam and re- also released on PS4 and and it's so like I don't know. Like a regular amount of copies, it's so it's Sony's. It's Sony's only reason this game is probably going to sell really really well, and they're and and they're just advertising everywhere. Like any chance you get, it's on the TV, it's on YouTube, it's on everywhere. Like they're advertising it as as like a, they're they're advertising it almost as as good as as an as an exclusive. Which you know, it's it's just what Sony does to get paid because they, they're probably gonna pay they're probably gonna get paid quite a lot from it but but you also can't point the finger at no at the no man's sky developers because there's only 15 of them i think and they were probably all working on the game uh, like in at, at, at an insane rate to try and get fixed try and get finished for 2000 for for, for the release date essentially and they probably didn't like have a community manager they probably did but there's also a slight chance they didn't i'm not sure but i do think it's quite interesting just just the fact that like that sean murray like if if you go to twitter right now and you type in no man's sky chump the sean murray's like official account that'll come up so so he's kind of the only like kind of like head head of of the studio really like, like, like he's the only one that that's really talking to the fans and anything the fans like have to say. He he probably the one that like that has to tell the the rest of the team, which kind of shows how small the team actually is, to the point where where the where the head developer has to have the the game the game's name as his official Twitter account, just so he can manage both his personal t- affairs and also the the game it, it's, it's just a weird thing to think about but i don't think you should you could point a finger at anyone in the situation like if you're gonna point a finger at anyone it'll be the people themselves but again i don't think you should just because everybody's dreamed about like having the perfect like sci-fi game the game of all games the, the game where you can just disappear for years and years and just like put hours and hours thousands of hours into the game so i can't i don't blame them for having really high hopes i don't blame i don't blame sony for trying to make money i don't blame no man's sky for being a great game that was just misunderstood and it's still all good though because you know it's it's just it's just a small indie game that that got that essentially was forced in into the spotlight 
and it was never going to live up to the hype just cuz just cuz of just how vague it was and how and how no like and how no one actually talked about what the game actually was and what you actually did in the game so i do think the game like the game itself is a really really good game but it will never be the game people expect it to be and it and it probably failed just because of that factor and i and another really big letdown is also the price that some people don't agree with even though i think i think it's worth worth 60 euro if 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 they don't do any paid dlc it's worth it and yeah i think i'm gonna end it there do make sure to start a discussion with me in the comments down below click up uh, click all the links in the description you know my twitter my instagram my everything my patreon donate don't donate some money to me and also make sure to like subscribe and share and this is the man cool and i'm reporting out